Good morning watu wangu. Mimi sasa ni morning. Ndio natoka side hustle ya usiku. Um, kama kawa ndipo wamesi. Na side hustle ya usiku sasa na nataka kukimbia home. Eh, kwani yule mzaa eh? Naendesha gari kaa yangu. Hapo take hapo hiyo gari ya kwanza. Sina kai yangu watu wangu. Anyway, hapo ndio nilikuwa side hustle usiku. Is a big nene hospital. Godia linibariki watu wangu like Mungu akifungua njia tu mnakuwa unako umeomoka tu. Unakaa tu umeomo umeomoka. So Yeah, so ndio na, nataka kuamalizia mshene. Watu wa mshene mko epo weka sauti hapo tusikie. Ongeza volume hapo. Angalia phone kidogo. Yeah, so nilikuwa na namalizia malizia story yangu. I think nilikuwa nimefika penye. Sasa nimeenda shule nimeongea na director of uh, admissions akaniambia nitegea alafu admission ndio hiyo ikakamu kibao. Yeah, true god by the way ilikuwa mutiza. So Admission watu wangu ikaingia hey, sema mtu wenu akafurahia it's going to the nursing school sasa Hey Nursing school na hapa si mchezo Si mchezo LPN program Simba LPN is the lowest paid nurse so hawa nalipwa between uh, depending on the state na depending on uh, where you work ukifanya kwa kwa hospitali pay na kwa tofauti ukifanya nursing home pay nayo ina kwa tofauti ukifanya group home ina kwa tofauti so the, the, the payment varies depends it changes depends on the state na the place you work in so mi nilikuwa naingia RN pro, program actually yeah so hata niko na ID yangu hapa let me tawa show let me see if i can show you i'm sorry because the camera is shaking but in tawa show ni kesimama tu sikai na ngori um niko na work ID niko na niko na kazi mbili so niko na ya kazi main job na side kama ka side chick kangu ka job sasa ni ka side chick kama ni ka side hustle help comment hapo mniambie so ni ka Nilikuwa nianza shule septemba. Septemba September 4 I think. Na watu wangu ku to, just to get in the program lazima ulipe half of the money. Each semester tulikuwa tunalipa around 6 7000. Hapo utaweka class uh, nini uh, pesa ya vitabu, utaweka utaweka pesa ya the, like is miscellaneous um the miscellaneous then you need to go to kingia shule utaziaka pamoja so hey, 7k niliwaambia nilikuwa natengeneza pesa ngapi in fact hiyo time nilikuwa nalipa 10 dollars per hour so kwako mwenye unasikia 10 dollars per, per hour i think you may pick up umeona hiyo ni 150 150 ya Kenya sasa hivi hapa 10 dollars is 10 dollars ni kama 10 shillings Kenya ni 10 shillings mtu anatoka Uganda 10 shillings kwake ni 1 million ya Uganda lakini akifika Kenya bado ni 10 bob ana ana anaitumia tu just like 10 bob ya kawaida so it make a difference hata ukifanya exchange rate bado you still in the country so it will not make a difference so big as up 10 dollars times 40 hours at least a bare minimum job ni 40 hours hiyo ni 400 dollars wakichukua taxes ya zakayo ah una kitu so nilikuwa natengeneza 1200 a month na hiyo ni pesa wanataka so pesa wanataka lazima nifanyie at least 7 months in bio itoshe ya ku ya kulipa tuition pekee hapo sitafanya any expenses 
na mimi ndiye nilikuwa mbuyu hiyo time mimi ndiye nilikuwa sijui kama mbuyu pale inatumika nikiwa kitana mbuyu ilikuwa ina ni kama ni kama mzae sasa breadwinner wa family so na hapo sasa tunaenda shule inabidi nikatisha masaa ya kufanya kazi ndio at least nipate time ya ya kustudy watu wangu nakwambia kukaa na wife spiritual sio spiritual kama zile za za kinaitaida zile wanaonyesha mtu anaingia ndani ya maji mtu anajua kupiga magoti anaomba mazina thank you Mungu wake na namshukuru tu alinipatia penina eh hey, tukaanza kuomba sasa itakuwaje hatuna do nimekupaliwa shule ndio hii hapa mbele yangu but do ya kuingia hapo sina Mzee wife akaomba tu akaambia God mzee fungua tu milango shule. Pesa ya shule ipatikane from nowhere. A week later take a take and apply scholarship. Nikapewa scholarship ya 500 bob. 500 dollars. Kumbe God alikuwa anajaribu aone kama tunaka watu roho chafu ama ni watu roho safi. God anakutempt aone kama utamkumbuka umshukuru. Nakumbuka tukiria tukasema thank God ametutolea at least 500 to come tukashukuru God. Eti yako ni ka scholarship ka 500. So hiyo ilikuwa ishikiria the whole time nikiwa shule. 500 each semester na the whole program ilikuwa ichukue four semesters sababu mimi nilikuwa nimesoma soma kidogo nilikuwa na some uh, credits then nilikuwa nienda ku transfer kwa nursing school. So 400 I mean 500 hiyo wakati hata taxi na kunalipiwa pap kwenda shule hata kuyoni inaenda tu straight kwa shule Firaturi turishukuru tu God maze Sema kuatilia Mungu kuatilia baraka When praises go up the blessings come down guys That thing is real like it's real mean it may on hivi When you When you put praises to God, when you praise God, your blessings will come right away. He will say yes. Ama aseme ngojea. Ama aseme I don't know. Hizo nimeshindwa kuelezea hiyo part. Mtu anajua mambo ya kanisa anaelewa. Mungu can say yes on the spot. Ama wait. Ama yeye yeah, atatu ndio amenichanganya siwezi kukupa. Ama akunyime in fact yeah anaweza kupatia on the spot akunyime ama aseme ngojea ukinyimwa taisariso na amekunyima si eti ama Mungu akupendi ama asikie maombi yako kuna sababu yenye imefanya ukanyi ukanyimwa watu wangu so take take na kuambia fila tu tulishukuru god it didn't take long watu wangu sema scholarship zikafungulia scholarship zikafunguliwa watu wangu Imagine nilikuwa nitafute do kulipa shule. Guess what? Hata staki mgesi. Sasa shule ndio ilianza kunilipa sasa. Shule ndio ilikuwa nilisoma nili nursing school for free. Alafu on top of that nikapai wambaka books, nikapai wambaka karamu, mpaka mpaka notebooks zenye nilikuwa natumia nursing school. By the way mpaka sasa do ilikuwa inapaki at the end of the semester unapata nimepaki shule na nitumia take hata ya 3000 dollars Mungu wangu mazemu Hey saa godi ni mkali mazemu siji kama bado mnamuita saa godi huyu mtu si achangamka endeshe gali ndio Ako mbele yangu na anaendesha gali ni kama hataki kuenda mahali So I'm sorry nilikuwa naongelelea venye God ananibariki alafu huyo mtu ameharibu mbi yangu So Ika kwa sasa shule ndio inanilipa shule ndio inanilisha eh hey, ilikuwa tu miujiza by the way ilikuwa ilikuwa like unexpected miracle unexpected miracle God akiamua kufungua nti ai kwani leo ni weekend maze ni Monday I know it's a holiday maze lakini 
Unaenda sakali kama mlelewa usiku nyinyi wote. Come on now. What kind of nonsense is this? Kwani leo watu waenda shikali? That's how we pass. I'm sorry guys. Mume ana my other side of life. Kikasirika filata siongi angi. Anyway. So ni kachapo scholarship. Alafta ika kwa mi ni kusoma. Ni kusoma. Apo apo saji ushule nye ilikuwa ngumu. Penina aliafu kuenda shule peke yake. I mean kuenda job peke yake. Mimi nikakuwa nafanya tu kazi like like job like ile ya kuonyesha na nafanya kazi nilipe taxes at least ndio nisikati ni wasikate scholarship one nimekuwa lazy. So shule ilikuwa program took two years. Maze those two years wa eh hey, umai toka duniani you end the hell. Kama ushawahi toka duniani you end the hell. That's how I was feeling. Ni kama nilikuwa nimeenda hell the whole time nilikuwa na sim program. Ilikuwa very intense, very demanding. Like you can not think of anything. Nilikuwa na kunywa dawa za mpaka za wa mwenda. I was like na kunywa mpaka dawa zenye na za, zile mwenda wazimu wanakunywa maji. Jua kiri ilikuwa karibu iruke. Karibu akili yangu iruke. Kicho ilikuwa na niuma nilikunywa pain killer mpaka nikaacha kukunywa. Mgongo ilikuwa na niuma nimekaa chini kusoma. Yaani wife anatoka job na mwambia beb, let me lay down. Anani anaruka kwa mgongo kuniganyaga watu wangu. Eh hey, nil, ilikuwa so painful by the way. The whole program it was very intense, but guess what? God ni mzuri watu wangu. God ni mtu wangu. God ni mzuri. Mungu akiamua it's time for your blessings. Mazee atakubariki tu. Nilikuwa tu kidogo nianguke by the way. Na unajua ukianguka hapa they, they kick you out. Wanakufukuza na penye utaenda utaanza upya sasa. Ni kama unarudishwa unarudishwa class 1, unaanguka class 8 wanakurudisha class 1. Badala uendelee penye ulikuwa umefika na sasa unaanza upya. The whole you start over again. Ukifukuza I think mara mbili, ukianguka mara mbili sasa unakuwa disqualified kusomea nursing school kabisa in the state I love the wonder state ingine usome uko ndio urudi sasa na na degree yako so masomo ikaisha watu wangu nika graduate dad alikuwa hapo but unfortunately sasa graduation yangu ilikuwa weird sababu time nilikuwa ni graduate nilikuwa pia nilikuwa tumetumwa military so singeweza ku fly okay wali, wali, they offered sababu hiyo time nilikuwa kama like flight attendant kwa hizo military helicopter so waka offer kuni no in fact they ningemwambia mapema walikuwa wameniambia wange wange fly because we were sent uh, apa marekani walikuwa wame offer kuni fly peke yangu mpaka uh, shule nifanywe graduation kama nimefaa uniform za jeshi then nirudi nirudi kumaliza mission but sababu niliwaambia late shule ile amwa ikaccommodate in fact walinifanyia graduation party yangu peke yangu with friends and uh, my professors so it was a great nini it was a great event nitaeka kapita kamota hapo chini mkaona vile tulikuwa hiyo siku tumengara na na wife na dad na na my son hiyo time tulikuwa na son peke so nika graduate tena kusomea kusomea mtihani sasa. In fact let me tell you guys nilikuwa my typical day for the two years nilikuwa kwa nursing program nilikuwa nalala 1 ama 2 hours pekee. The rest ni kuamka kusoma 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 because like lazima upate 76% ndio upite. So hata ukipata 75.4% Una, unakuwa kicked out hiyo umeanguka ukikuwa na 75.5 then we umepita juu ana round up inakuwa 76% so ilikuwa ngumu ilikuwa ngumu mazini mimi ni mwerefu but 
Niambia sasa hiyo kukaa kusoma ni tu au aspekee siku siku na nini? Tu au aspekee siku aza ku siku nilikuwa nalala ndio niamke nisome. So teke teke ndio huyo mimi kazi ka no nikamaliza shule sasa lazima usome tena u, uende ufanye mtihani ya kupita ndio upewe lenses ya ku practice kama nas so nikasome hiyo mtihani inaitwa anklex watu wako majua wanajua hata watu wako nyumbani manases wanajua in fact manas kuna manas wenye wana waliniambia welcome to our world our dear nas nini i'm encouraging you guys muni dm hapo chini nurses peke yao DM me hapo chini uh, namba yangu simu naitua tu kawaida iko hapo ama in fact email me at my wife's email address maybe we can work something out niona kama kuna link zenye tunaweza fanya mkuja huku mfanya kazi nitakuwa so happy nikiona like mtu amenikumbuka because eh, si eti ninapiga mdomo hapa lakini sababu nilimsaidia akakuja Marekani ku practice sasa nas. So nurses, changamka hapo chini. Ama email me as soon as mnapata hii information. Um another thing so nikafanya teke teke mtihani nikafanya mtihani nikafanya. No, ni, lazima upatiwe ATT number. ATT ni kama authorization number yenye unaenda kufanyia mtihani ya board exam ya state. So nikafanya hiyo mtihani mazee ilikuwa ngumu pia lakini nilimanage nikafanya one time nikapita. Fela nilipita tu hivi nika apply job ya OC. Nikaangukia job mazee. So nilianza na mshahara ya ma, ya matusi but ilikuwa mshahara poa from mtu ana anatengeneza 10 dollars per hour to the point ile mshahara nilikuwa natengeneza the whole month ni hizi kazi zenye nilikuwa nashikanisha na natengeneza in, in few days so it's a blessing yeah it's a blessing to become a nurse hiyo ndio in fact hata those are the main reasons why nili drop my full time position as a mwanajeshi nikakuwa full time uh, full time nurse so take take nikaendelea na masomo kidogo then nika drop out of school si mnajua responsibility watu wangu mwanaume ni effort so ikabidi nikaacha nikaacha kuwa mwanajeshi full time nikaacha shule nika focus ku investment um natengeneza doni kijaribu ku invest hapo home very soon maybe nitakuja ku feature some nitakuja ku kuangalia about investment especially kwa real estate investment it's a good thing if you have the energy to do that guys shikilia hapo hapo hakuna kitu nalipa poa sikizi kama real estate unless mtu anataka kukaa homeless lazima a condition nyumba so maybe very soon nitawangushia ka kitu hapo about real estate that's a secret though iki the right time ikifika mtajua tu mambo ya real estate So nataka kuangalia mambo ya kubariki wengine. Mita nilikam nilika Marekani kiwa I was like the last last nini my the last years of my teenage. So nilikuja hapa teenager by the way. Umeona mpaka hizi manini hazikuwa zimemea. Mandevu hazikuwa zimemea. Uh, manyole za huko huko zile manyole mpaya mbaya zile zinanyolewa nda izi angeleleza ama kuopa na zile za huko 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 azikuata zimemea so nilikuja nikiwa young sana but nili sacrifice a lot nili sacrifice a lot to make sure that kila mtu napenda is stable so by the end niliomba tu god nikamwambia this is my time so time nilikuwa niingia shule nikamkumbusha god kumbuka venye watu wengi nimeshikilia watu wengi mkono mpaka wamefika mbali nikamwambia this is my time nataka niona kama yenyewe uli appreciate my effort na blessings zenye nimepatiana kwa watu wengine eh hey, si hiyo ndio maana scholarship ilifunguliwa watu wangu mimi si eti na brag yeah watu wengine wanaweza angalia waseme ni maringo ama nini but no it's a ni baraka tu ni baraka god aliamua tu kunishow like 
ako willing kukubariki ukibariki wengine na wewe atakubariki ukibariki wengine hata wewe utabarikiwa ya yeah, alafu tena nini ile nataka tuongelee sasa nimemaliza story ya nursing school so the reason yenye ilifanya siku ka a, a, a medical doctor it was one singa was any singa manage financially singeweza mentally singeweza sababu nilikuwa nafanya kazi ngapi ina watu wangu so kufanya kazi ina na usome mpaka ukwe doctor mazee si rahisi so sasa ndio nataka kutafuta avenue nyingine nikae DNP DNP is a doctor in nursing program so doctor in nursing program unaweza fungua hospitali yako unaweza prescribe madawa you can like you have the same power like a doctor unatengeneza the same amount like a doctor uh, alafu yeah you have the same power kama daktari but nila tu you didn't go through the medical school would go through nursing school ndoka kwa like a doctor in nursing program so that's the the, the avenue nataka kutake so very soon maybe watu wangu tawa invite mkuja graduation mungu akipenda wadi akipenda nda wa invite mkam graduation eh hey, leo nimeamua kuangalia pink pink zako ya pink ni na 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 scraps za pink si nimengara watu wangu hapo comment hapo mniambie yani iliamua kutesa <laughs> anyway ah uh, ni nini ile nyingine nataka kuambia watu wangu nataka tu kuambia tunawapenda sana Story next nataka kuambia ni about leo nimeamua nitakuja kukaa chini one on one na wife tuongee na kuna watu wanataka eti niongelee pia tulikatiana watu wangu kama una mistari wewe shida yako shida yako ambia beshta yako akusaidia kuweka mwanamke kwa box mimi sitaambia mistari nilimpiga ndio akaingia box sitaambia mistari nilimpiga ndio akaingia box pati nampenda sana watu wangu na kama mtapata mtu mtru by the way kama utapata mtu mtru kama peni na wangu mazee shikilia because yo, god anakupea wife for a reason anakupea wife by the way na wife anakuanga tu blessing to the to the to the family when you have a good wife you have a good thing and god will always bless you guys na uh, so uh, tafadhali hii video imekuwa ya uh, I think I've inspired few persons kama nimeku inspire ingia hapo tu useme amen us comment kitu yote ingia hapo chini useme tu amen na kama nime mtu mwingine ame feel like ni maringo ama nini no mimi nataka kuambia tu god works in a mysterious way god blesses you when you bless others and god blesses you when it's the right time for your blessings Niliwambia nilikuwa na 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 na, na danganya wife eti mimi ni daktari mimi ni daktari na nilikuwa hata nimeacha shule kitambo so sababu hiyo ilikuwa time ya god by the way kunifikisha penye alikuwa nataka nifike so time ya god ilipofika that's when the blessings came down like i said that's when the blessings came down so talking of blessings this is one of the the jobs the, the, the my work taki ni wanyeshe penye nafanya kazi si mnaona huyo ni mtu wenu huyo ni mtu wenu hapo huyo ni mmoja alafu na hii nyingine mnaona hiyo ni nyingine So hizo ni hizo ni baraka tu watu wangu. Those are blessings. Like I said, nilikuwa village boy. Sasa hivi life yangu ime change. Kuna mtu nataka kuongeresha hapo. It doesn't matter penye uko leo. What matters ni penye utakuwa kesho. Na najua God akiamua kesho ya kila mtu ni, ni bright. Trust me. Believe me you guys. kila mtu ako na bright future it's only lazima uweke imani 
weka imani na si lazima ukuje marekani ndio uomoke no kuna watu najua ni mamilione hapo home hata wako na more millions than what me or the other people nyo wanaishi hapa marekani wako nazo we don't have millions guys tuko na enough blessing for now we do not have millions but tuko na enough blessings for now so mkae tu mkejua tunawapenda sana the diongo family tunawapenda sana alafu acha niangalie simu tunawapenda sana guys mwingie hapo msubscribe mlike video mshare na friends and family so that tuweze ku grow pamoja guys mm. nataka tu grow pamoja channel itakuwa without you by the way that's why we always appreciate you that's why we always value you guys because you you are the source of our strength you are the source of our growth like kila kitu tuna grow sababu ya sababu yenu everything we do and every achievement we achieve is because of your blessings sababu ya nyinyi kutubariki so endeleeni kutubariki hivyo amzee tunawapenda sana tunawapenda sana you guys we love you so much ene ile village ya penina na mimi wa village si unakumbuka hii village yenu na zile bata zenu ndio zile uko down hmm. ona fira nepa hodile iko dry 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 leo ni uh, mlk day it's a holiday a federal holiday martin luther king junior holiday that's why i'm now on a neighborhood you could very dry 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 ndio hmm. zile pata zenu uko mimi sitaenda huko kama penina mimi liungu si mnaona neighborhood yenu hmm. okay guys so kama kawaida like share alafu kama uja subscribe tafadhali subscribe and click on the notification bell ndio mweza kupata mweza kupata content ikiingia tu hivi mnaipata si ndio love you guys bye bye